Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Star Trek Online. This demo has been out for over 10 years. It went free to play forever ago, and we've dived in and checked it out every once in a while throughout the course of its uh, long lifespan. But today, we're diving in from the very beginning with a brand new free to play account to see what it's like for a new player trying out this MMO. I'm a huge Star Trek fan. I'm really interested in the story. I want to see how it's adjusted and changed. The list of voice actors that, in, that are in this now are substantial, and I was pretty blown away from a nostalgia perspective. So here it is, the beginning of what I'm thinking is going to be a series, the journey, the travels of the USS Extra Parts and its captain, Captain Shack. If you want to join me, then well, check out the video and hit thumbs up, unsubscribe, all that jazz. And if you want to see more of this series, I look forward to reading your comments, but this is from a free-to-play perspective. What you can do, what is it like as a new player? Like, holy crap, there is a lot of starts to this game. Because you can look into these, and this is the crazy part, like you go into it, and then there's all of the, some epic music, let me turn that down. There, there's a ton, like all of the races are here. I can be Packlin for crying out loud. Things that make us go. That make us go. Okay, Benzite's kind of hilarious. Where's the butt faces? They are a relatively benign species. Bolians! There they are. Bolians. All of the options. And this is just one start. The only thing that's missing here is like a, a Borg start. Which would which would be weird. He's dead, Jim. All day long. Because they totally put me in a medical uniform. Or a science uniform, I guess is what it's called in this one. Do they still have the two factions thing? Like, when I started, it was the Klingon War, and so you had the Klingon faction, so PvP was Split Federation versus Klingon. I say PvP, I'm saying that in, like, deep quotations, because there was almost no one doing PvP after about a month after this game came out. Speaking your mind for a change. It was rough. We played on release back in 2010. All right, all right, all right. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll probably make a couple of characters then. We'll start with Starfleet. We'll start with Starfleet because this is probably the faction that's most played by new players because they're coming in and they're like, hmm, I love me some Starfleet from Next Generation. I just watched on Netflix, you know, Deep Space Nine and I want to play some Star Trek games. I'm going to play that one. This is the closest you're going to get to that with the black uniforms. So we'll go with this one. And then I could always make other characters, right? Like there's no character limit. Or there's probably a character limit, but it's not going to be like one character. God, who plays as the Romulans of all? The Romulan Republic. I have questions about the timeline because like, what Romulan Republic? <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going Starfleet. It's the right choice. Starfleet, the, explore the exploratory, scientific, diplomatic, and defensive alliance of the United Federation of Planets chartered in 2161. Starfleet has a mission to boldly go where no one has gone before. A primary mandate includes the pursuit of peaceful exploration and the search for new life and new civilizations. Starfleet Command is headquarters in the Sol system on the planet Earth. Start your journey as a new cadet of the class of 2409 during an uncertain time as enemies new and old threaten the Federation across the galaxy. All right. What race? It's quite a logical gem. Are we, are we a joined Trill or just a Trill? Trill are characterized by the Rose of Spies. Trills are generally friendly. Mace or Feder Yeah, no, we're not, we're, not a com we're not a combined Trill. That would be a cool thing if you could become a combined Trill. So the thing with the Trill... Oh, God, we're going to get into a lot of lore stuff. You know, I can't help myself. Um, is that Jadzia would be the best example of this. But they actually had the first episode of a combined Trill in um, the next generation. A joined Trill. Yeah, joined Trill would be the right, right word for it. So a joint trill, you've got a slug in you, and then you're blended with that slug uh, and have the same, like, have a new personality form. So you remember your life before being joined. You also remember your life as a freaking slug in somebody else. It's weird. Next Generation uh, Troll didn't have spots, right? No, I think it did have spots, but they changed a lot about the lore uh, because it didn't work. I think he still had spots. Or he had head ridges. You might be right. You might not have had spots. I know there were some major changes because it didn't quite work for what they wanted to do, and so they gave him spots. Also, Jadzia, man, I had such a crush on her when I was in... Never mind. Never mind! Teenager. Uh, all right. Tellerite. We could be Tellerites. You people are even uglier than I remember. <clears throat> Nobody wants to be a Tellerite. Regalian. What are Regalians from? Humanoid species native to the planet of Rigel 5. 
Regalians are secretive spiritual people. Regalians are believed to have four or five genders, but also exhibit many psychological similarities with Vulcans and Romulans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Packlet is just for the lols. We could go Nog and be a captain in Starfleet. Nog, the first captain. I'm so sad that his actor passed away. He was always the one that I thought would, like, they'd do a series. They might do, like, a spinoff series with him. Bolians, all I can think of is the, um, uh, the barber on, on the Enterprise. Uh, there was a Bolian in, in, in Voyager, too. I remember Tuvok training him. And only the strongest will survive. Don't worry, Tuvok. I'll tell them to take it easy on you. On the next Star Trek Voyager. Uh, the Benzite, the Wesley Kusher episode with them training. Uh, they actually breathe through that. Oh, well, they even added it too. That's a nice little touch of detail. Um, they can't breathe just oxygen. They have to have these little like filtered things. Bajoran, rock the earrings. Spiritual people from Bajor and the wormhole. I wonder if the wormhole's active in this time period. Uh, and Dorians, and Dorians are fucking badass. They weren't nearly as badass until uh, Enterprise came out though. Run around calling everybody pink skin. The pink skin sense of humor. I like that people are having the conversation of basically who is their favorite waifu from Star Trek. Like, that, it, that's, that's all this conversation is in chat now. We're gonna go human, but I wanna go like Jordy LaForge human. I wanna, I wanna have like a cool visor or something. Uh, what? Oh, we get to choose officers. Gender pick. I know, I, this is what I do. I go, ooh, look at all the races. Human. <laughs> all right, engineering officers in Starfleet. Oh, I love it. He's actually got the visor I was just talking about. You support your ship and crew by increasing their survivability and using improved technology to outlast and outmaneuver opponents. Outlast. I wonder if you're a tank. Your efforts focus. Yeah, you are a tank. I remember when we first played. Uh, let's see. Tactical officers in Starfleet. You defend your ship and crew and take command of combat scenarios. St uh, stealth, squad commands, and damage boosts are at your tools and your disposal. Uh, you support your crew by drawing enemy fire or bolstering the effectiveness of your away team with superior tactics. Sweet. Tactical it is. Tactical. I remember Veilfor playing engineering and he was in like a cruiser and man, he was a tanky beast. He's a little old to be a lieutenant, <laughs> but that's what I'm going with. Old man Shaq. Get a haircut. Oh, that's very Klingon, isn't it? I look like a character. I look like one of the admirals from Next Generation who was demoted. Advanced. Oh my god. What is this? What? There's so many options. Yay! There we go. Okay, this is a Dominion piece of technology. Excuse me. Right? No, that's the headset from the rifle in Deep Space Nine that could shoot through walls. No, this is. This is the Dominion one. This is the rifle one, I think. Well, I wanted the visor, so we're totally rocking the visor. Beards. So many beards. Wait, is this... Oh, this is head scaling. Holy, holy crap! All right, I could get lost in this for hours. Yeah, you can. There are tailors. Sweet, okay. That's pretty, that's pretty good for me. I like it. There's our captain. Oh my god, it goes into the body too. Womp. Womp. Definitely gonna go red. Wait, can I change this? Oh, weird. I could be like, yeah, I chose tactical as my class, but I wanna be uh, security. I wanna be security, you know, or engineering. We're gonna go red though, cause we're obviously bare hands. Oh, I can wear gloves. Rank. We'll put my rank on there. I'm an instant. That I better, oh, I hope they give me the ranks as we level up. Cause it, look, I've only got instant to choose from. So I get the one pip. And then badges. Badges? Oh, we can change the com badge. Motion picture. Come on, where's next generation? Next generation film. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll go we'll go with this. We'll get some ranks. We're only an ensign. Probably can't put Captain Shack. Ship name. Extra parts. After I left Starfleet, 
I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Who are those guys? That was weird. Must have been some kind of like, um, Mako style Federation ground troops. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training crew. Oh, we're in San Francisco. The ship is by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including. Sweet. All right. So they're going to teach us. How oh, man, this is cool. All right. Yeah, we're in we're in the academy. Very cool. To move, use the W A S, -A -S and D. Keys. To look around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. Pretty good. Hey, uh, how how smooth is the stream, guys? Is it like blocky or laggy or anything? Smooth. All right. Yeah, that's what it was. Just gotta limit that frame rate. Uh, people you can act with, but they'll have really crazy things in their heads. Oh, can I go first person? No. Can I see my character? Yes. This is not my uniform. Oh, this is the cadet uniform, isn't it? Damn it, Wesley. All right, let's go talk to him. Oh, hello. And Dorian's. So rude. What's up? Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. The class of 2409. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Are we just going to go and talk to everybody, huh? Wait a minute. There's a quest way up there? Neat. Wait, you can hit B and go into first person? Oh, first person controls, but not like first person. Okay. I see. Like I'm now I'm now aiming or it's showing me a, a reticule. Indeed. Rasky said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. I apparently helped everyone in class. Building two this way. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we have to find him. No, he'd be long dead by now, wouldn't he? The gardener. Would the gardener still be alive? Boothby. Yeah, we gotta go find Boothby. Okay, we're not leaving until we find Boothby. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Look at all the traffic. There's like four shuttles in the air right there. Hit V. I'm picking up a whole lot of sexy in this room. Scanning for details. Now it's just me. Hi! Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? What? <laughs> oh, the furries have invaded Star Trek. Is this where I get my... Oh, f Sorry, I wasn't ready. Is this where I get my trading assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Shaq. It's Shaq. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Do you have Tiger. the wares? He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Oh, uh, you know what? They didn't have in the uniform creation? They didn't have the TNG skirt for the dudes. Anybody remember that from the pilot? I'm sad they didn't they didn't keep up with that. Like you you did it in the pilot, you might as well have kept going. Uh alright. Where are we going? Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. There's Press object? To with a oh, it's teaching me how to, to use turbo lips. Yeah, it's teaching me ring bell. Or teaching me how to use office doors. Come. Hang on. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I know the program is advised for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I'd had more time to take it. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who's that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Yes, sir. I even saluted. I even saluted. Ah, oh, nice. I'm just gonna look around your office. Whoa. Okay. I wonder if there's player housing. Oh, they even got the gold, uh, the gold models. Akira class. There's a constitution refit. Nice, nice, nice. Good choices. I can work for that, man. Oh, I wonder if one of those are going to be his ship. Let's find out. So there's an Akira and a Constitution. I highly doubt it's a Constitution. You hell of a refit. To rebind a key. Oh, right, 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 right. To rebind a key. I saw you guys talking about it. Let me do it again. Captain's log. I've finally cleared up my visor. All that crap all over the place. Adware. I knew I shouldn't have gone to those websites. Oh, let's see. We need to go meet her in the quad. You know, bridge officer on a cadet training ship. I, I believe that's how it's going. Hey, Flores. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Evan Target says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first, so he hasn't told me what my position is. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Yeah, it seems like it. Are these like permanent assignments? Or are we gonna be, you know, 
finishing up our Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? Training. I never seem to spot them. <laughs> whales! I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems what? like such Boothby? a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Sprint, Where's Boothby? Also, where are the whales? I heard they time travel. Yeah, that's a real thing. There were no whales until the time travel episode where they brought them back from the past. <laughs> episode, movie. Movie, that was the original series movie. Yep, no joke. That's a real thing. Okay, I have to find Boothby. Oh, is this Boothby's like... But he's a hologram. I have to find Boothby. It's the Dominion War Monument. Oh, uh, okay. To absent friends. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. She mentioned Boothby, but I haven't seen him. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. Ah! Cheating! Because I have to follow you. <laughs> Any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. I'm going to need a phaser then. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. All right. People waiting in queue. Probably if their shuttle's out. <laughs> All right. Thank you, game. Get a pistol from the locker. The a phaser. Oh yeah, yeah it has. And it's on my hip too. Nice. I love it when they've got the physicalized like kit that you're wearing. You can actually see it in games. To the center of the room. Oh, oh, it's actually a holodeck. Yay! Great. How do I? Oh, you can hot swap weapons. Interesting. Move to the center of the room. Begin program. Okay, I am in the belly of a Klingon warship, I'm gonna say. In combat, right click on a target ah! to fire your weapon. I don't know how to do that! It's a phaser, it just aims on its own! This is actually fairly accurate. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. All right, so how do I get in and out of combat? Whoa, okay, that's a melee attack. I can do the old palm punch, as you do. Exit simulation. Press H to holster and draw your weapon. Yeah, uh, what? Oh, H, that's what I was looking for. So I can just go into first person mode and I can, I can. Oh, you're not gonna let me just. You're not gonna just let me wildly shoot in this room. Okay, that, that makes sense. Gotcha. How'd I do, Captain? Well done, cadets. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. It helps when your weapons auto-target for you. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Whoa, first officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. it would be an honor serving with you. I guess I'm your boss now. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. I think you should start with referring to me as sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I get you a rack to Gino, sir? Mmm, coffee. Thing on coffee, no less. Ah, uh, very funny, Flores. I mean, very funny cadet. You'll do great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. She stares off into space. Remember, your objective locations can Starfleet's also easy. be found on your coast, <laughs> as well as your mini-map. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. All cadets? Turbo lift. Uh, 
Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Oh, Something God. heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. It's literally our first mission. It is not going to determine the rest of our careers. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the party. Oh, there's even shuttlecraft over here. What are those, Type 9s? Neat. Ah, there's the crew. Intimidate, inspire, inspire. We are the senior staff of the USS Extra Parts. <laughs> They're inspiring already. Each and every one of us is trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has, and together, so yeah, the text is very small, and together, we can do anything. Terrorize the cadets. <laughs> Let's galvanize them. But we'll go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us, putting to use everything we've learned here. To Starfleet Academy, to the USS Extra Parts, and to our crew. Raise a glass to the class of 2409. Mushroom stations. Oh, I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. Are we gonna get the Star Trek like ship porn? The USS Vesta, first of her class. Yeah, we are. She's got Love it. subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, in the world? auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't. Wait to captain one someday. Why is but that? But here's thing? our ship. No thanks. Miranda class, yeah. 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. I was gonna say you are not, you are We're not giving that tone to about arrive. Miranda. We need to get to the bridge. Living up to its name. Brand has been in service forever. Forever. The Enterprise was based on. Or the other way around. You know what I mean. The original, yeah, uh, the Enterprise NX. All right, Flores. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Right on. I'll be on the bridge shortly. I want to take a look at my new ship as first officer. So this is the rear shuttle bay. So the Miranda's cool. It's got two shuttle bays in the back. This is my crew. I remember back in the day when I first played this, so, what, 10 years ago? That it never felt like I actually had a ship and a crew. You couldn't walk around on the inside. Or you only had access to the bridge. Which is weird, because how much of Star Trek happens in the five rooms that are the Star Trek ship, right? Five sets. This is a massive shuttle bay. Like, the shuttles are only this tall, yet the bay is, like... Humongous. Put a defiant in here standing tip to tip. Okay, maybe not, but still, it's pretty big. 200 crew, and they're all in the cargo bay. Scale is wonky in this game. I am MMO scaling. It's so, it's so silly. Alright, let's go talk to. The duty officer. Rickers. Name and position? Cadet Shack, acting first officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Where's the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. I'm assuming this is a, like, she's an actual lieutenant. I'm a, just a cadet as an acting. Whoa, wait, I can dodge? Don't mind me, crew. I'm just flipping around over here. To the bridge. Boom. That's a window in the roof. A 
Reporting for duty, Captain. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one. Roman, thank you for the 200 bits. The USS Extra Parts was made from surviving bits of different Mirandas from the Dominion War. Oh, live it up to the name. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Flores, close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Can I sit? Oh, yeah, I guess I can't sit. Wait, let's see, let's see. You know how these MMOs work most of the time. You gotta like, flash sit. Okay, nope. Then I will just stand on the bridge. Right in the middle. Right here. Very good, number one. Travel, get clearance from traffic control for extra parts to leave the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. I can't even, I can't even see my bridge officers because this place is fucking massive for no reason. My helmsman and my comm officer are like way down in the ditch somewhere. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Which I will have to walk to... Uh, I will have to walk a normal ship's bridge length over to push the button. Releasing moorings. All right, Captain. Potter. Take us out. One quarter impulse. Remain silent. I'm not going to question the captain. To sit, right -click on the chair you wish to sit. Ah. I had to right click on the right chair. I don't believe that at all. The, cla the, the skin would be too claustrophobic with the camera. The camera that we have full control over and can zoom in on right over our shoulders. Other third-person games can handle normal scale just fine. Good. So we can start Let's start with something five. easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Or just give us a first person. There she goes. Extra parts. Go to work. First time. Oh, I miss Bridge Commander 2, Microhex. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Break Even. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. The extra parts in the break even. <laughs> so our work is failing? We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. I'm digging the intro. I am definitely, I remember the old you intro the was like straight one? into combat. What do I was like, you think this we should do? Star Trek anything. I really want to be sitting. Is this a test, sir? Part of the training cruise? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? I recommend going to red alert. Full power to weapons, load the photon torpedoes, just in case. That's a little much, wouldn't you say? There's no justification to go in. Guns blazing. I'm just trying to be pertinent, sir. Could be a trap. But you're probably right. We should at least raise the shields. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Hi, right, Captain. God, transporter rooms are massive. Mm-hmm. 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 The break even should be in range. I'm getting some weird readings. 
I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! But this vessel back. is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. It's an ambush by the Chalk. All right, come in. What happened? Rarek! Snake! Doc, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Nice, sir. I'm with you. Entering the command codes. Get a weapon. Go to the armory locker they have any phaser to rifles? To get a Hell yeah. Yes! How do I equip it? Equip. If you equip the phaser sniper rifle mark one, you won't be able to trade it. Hell yeah! Yes! False phaser! What other weapons do we have? Oh, big guns. Oh, I only get one. Well, that's the weapon we're using then. Pulse phaser rifle. Oh, Klingons! Oh, that's a charge attack with V. Okay, or with uh, with two. What is three? Melee. How are you doing? Where's our other? Oh, we lost one. Come on, security team, let's roll. I crouch. Oh, well, ah. We need to get the force fields online. Oh, we already got them online. Uh, to use the quick equip, first press U and then start our status menu. Oh, we have a whole menu that it's teaching me. So I think I've already figured that all out. All right, we should be in battle mode. They're having a phaser fight on that side. Klingons are downed. You can do extra ah! damage to enemies by flanking them. Try to have these drop on your side towards the eye and press Let's go. Included. Let's go. Get wrecked. You're getting phasered. I want to see what the phaser ability is. So it's probably like a stun, right? So I'm coming here. Phased. Oh, yeah, it did. It's totally stunned him. Come here. I want to punch you. So I have like a personal deflector field. Predator beam, transporter beam. All right, it's ours. F to loot. Hypo spray. You have recovered the hypo spray. You can Everything's exploding. I've only been first officer for like five minutes. This is not my fault. There you are. Whoop, double tapped again. Here, I'll just hit you with this hypo spray. You'll be fine. Everything is exploding. I'm supposed to hit five. Gotcha. And this is the rifles, the sniper rifles. So I wonder if I can get like a standard pulse rifle. All right, get to the captain. Talk to the captain. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I know how to improve the ship's weapon systems. Cool, because I was tactical. Shit. Is that a Gorn? Yeah, it was a Gorn! And a uh, Nausicaan. Ah, ah, get out of the way. Come on, team, let's go. Fire team with me. Just gonna snipe this guy first. Wop wop. Wop wop. And then I'm gonna switch. Stun. Didn't actually stun him. Greatly disappointed. Let's go. Get flanked. Wait, you can crouch. C, defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases the damage from melee. X to aim your weapon. What? With bonus damage. What? So I can crouch and get a bonus damage with aim. Okay, okay, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I didn't honestly think that it would go that far. I thought it would just be like 
you know, it's, oh, it's not tab targeting. It's the combat upgrade from Star Wars Galaxies where it's like pseudo real-time combat, but not really. Or uh, ta non tab targeted. Uh, breach the door. You're gonna wanna back up. I'm gonna phaser this down. Let's go, go, go. Ow! All right, so what was it? It was uh, it was this, and then it was, what was the zoom? It was V? No, V was scan. And then C to crouch to get more damage. I just obliterated that man! Oh God, what setting did I put this rifle on? Seems a bit, bit much. Good job, team. We did it. Okay, X and B. There's a lot of stances to change. All right, so we need to boost power to the weapon systems. Okay. Taking the power from the holodecks. Pumping it into the phasers. Look at the torpedoes. Taking the power from the galley. Nobody needs life support. Let's knock that out. I never liked the guys on deck 12. Let's turn their gravity off and pump that power into the weapon systems too. Screw you, deck Number 12. One. We've got injured up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Hi, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Roger that, Vulcan lady. I can sprint. Yeah, I can sprint. My ship! Maybe next time Starfleet won't waste so much material building gigantic hallways for no reason. Oh, shit. No, Captain! The bastards. They captured him. Why would they capture him? Ow! What the shit? Get off my bridge. Yeah, boom. Yeah, Flor. Oh, Flores just disintegrated that man with a phaser. Tavrell! Get up! A puncture. A punch. You got a punctured lung. You'll be fine. Get to work. I want a damage report. All systems. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. Oh, it actually this said on is screen. Captain Kayak of Can't the rotate IKS the camera. Chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire. <laughs> Come on now, if he surrendered, you'd kill him anyways. If anything, he just went out more of a Klingon than you're going to. Make me proud. And promoted. We have target lock, Captain. Ready the good torpedoes and fire. So much for that cloak. Remember, there's no shields when they're cloaked. Very Wrath of Khan. Oh, fuck. That's what we were fighting? Direct hit. That was like a Brel out there shield, or something. Shield, nope. Fire all weapons. Weapons and shields are offline. Get wrecked. Close can begin repairs. They've got to be leaking gas. Keep firing. We've lost their signal. What now? Was that a Nekvar? Pikes. How did we lose their signal? 
We did so much damage. They're on fire. It should be pretty easy to pick up. Ah, uh, damn it. All right. Well, we need to start our own repairs because everything's on fire. And report to Starfleet Command. We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew hmm. what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. The ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. Only thing we can do now is take our seat in the captain's chair, is what it says. I would think, you know, beginning repairs and 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 seeing to the ship would be more important, but. All right, there it is, the first time. The captain's chair. Elisa Flores is now your bridge officer. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship. Hey! And accompany you on away missions on the ground. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. That looks way better than that ship that they were like, oh, look at that. Someday we can captain this ship. And it looked awful. And now we're looking at the Miranda. It looks great. What happened? in between those two. So, Flores is now our, uh, what is she? She's our tactical bridge officer. Okay. Talk to the first officer. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage. She is gorgeous. But some are worse than others. Life support is stable. Whoa, look at the zoom out. But anything else could be an issue. Holy crap. Want, I, want tactical perspective? You barely see that, Miranda. Devrel, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, Good. but something is jamming all frequencies. <sighs> you trying. What's the status of the Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zarva, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. See the warp core behind her because she's out in engineering? What about the break-even? Hail them. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. USS break-even. This is Starfleet Vessel USS Extra Parts. What's your status? Well, this is awkward. You're angry. I can see that. Understandable. Oh <laughs> Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. <sighs> oh, the Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. Let's see what I can do. Increase your speed using e. Decrease your ship speed. Okay, bring us to... Uh, what is that, one quarter impulse? Bring us close to the break even. All right, half impulse. Let's get over there. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Chavrish, thank you for the tier one. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Yeah. Scan the freighter. <laughs> Like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ship and press F to All right, get us into transporter range. Beaming over the supplies. Thanks and good luck with the Klingons. You'll need it. Thanks, Quark. Well, looks like we're on our own. Of course. At least they said <laughs> thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Sorry, but you got that damage report yet. Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have any replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. It even says the extra parts. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Any ideas? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. 
I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact What you're saying injectors. is we're looking for extra parts. Do it. In the scans. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. All right. All right. Three quarters Press impulse. Let's go. Space bar to fire. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. All right, take item. Teaching us how to loot now. And fire. Good. But remember, the Klingons want us dead. I need you to work fast. You have your problems. I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one <laughs> this diagnostic. Is the two shuttle bases I was talking we don't about. We blow up the moment we hit warp one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Give us a status report, Elsa. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battle cruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications in this system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tavrell has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. You must be ten okay, so we've got three... Targets. Let's go full. Uh, do we turn faster at first? Fuller speed? Eh. Wider angle. There's the jamming room satellites. Use your phasers. What's the shortcut to shoot torpedoes? Oh, it gives me the fire. Okay, slow down. It gives me the firing arc. Yeah, it gives me firing arc. So phasers should be what? 360? No, not on this bird. She can't shoot backwards. And then we've got. Our photon torpedoes, kinetic damage of 225. All right. So that does very little damage. Ah, he hit control space bar, you fire torpedoes. But torpedoes do a ton. Reload the next torpedoes and nice fire. Two more jamming satellites. I didn't even come out of the top. Torp away. That did not do enough damage. Fire another torpedo. I need better torpedoes. I'm gonna use the high yield on this one. All right, finish it with phasers. All right, high yield torpedo. Your next torpedo launches 30 seconds. Within 30 seconds, we'll have a high yield torpedo dealing heavy damage against shielded, against a sheen, a single target. And fire high yield. Nice. Finish it with phasers. I haven't forgotten about you. Think your ship. Take a couple more hits. Return fire! Let's get some speed. Long range communications are operational. Oh, I cloaked sir. again. Shall bastards. I send the distress signal? Yes! That's a much bigger ship than us. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Oh, is this our, our balance on power? Interesting. Do it. We need to find him before the ambushes, before he ambushes again. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Don't stop moving. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Nice. Finally, we'll have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your death swift. All right, how do I go full impulse? Shift R or click this button. I want to go fast. Oh, balls. Yeah, no, no joke. Now we're moving. I see the asteroids coming closer. Those are rendered objects, not like... 
Multiple birds of prey decloaking. But oh, oh crap! Balance out the power systems again. What? Full birds of prey? This is cheating. Torpedoes away. Fire! 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 He's out of my torpedo range. All right, slow down. Keep firing. High yield torpedo armed. And fire! Very limited arc of the but... Go ahead and try! Yeah. There's the Negvar. I think we were fighting a Negvar for our first enemy. Nice. The Miranda of all things. I like that it's telling me Alt 1, so Alts plus number keys are going to be all of my special crew abilities. I need to get more crew. He's really far away. Was it Shift R? Full impulse? Yeah, there it is. Come here, Klingon. Weapon range. Zarba needs more time to get the plasma now, injectors installed. There's a bird of prey there. Try not to break anything else. Fire the torpedoes. So it's. Uh... No, 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 don't, don't go. Fire torpedoes. Keep firing! Torpedo away! Yeah, they're not doing too much damage to us, actually. Like, this is our shield. We're doing fine. Very tutorial -y. All right, bring us around, and we're going to give them the high yield. Arming torpedoes. And... Go. He's got... Oh, I should have waited until his shield was down. There's his shield right here. So I've got a phaser in the front. Ah, now I've got both phasers firing. I see. Yeah, there's a rear phaser. This is what this is. Cool. So if I sit, keep it on the broadside, keep him a beam. Incoming transmission, sir. Nice. On screen. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Hey! You require assistance. It's Nog. Miranda OP, please, Nerf. Indeed, Grim. Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Klingon marauders. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. I see. And you're the acting captain. Yeah, hey, I, sir. Right. Well done, cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Klingons who killed Captain Target, sir? Kadek is still out there. Believe me, Cadet, blow ship? if he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. You can divert power. Oh. Cool. Ship explosions cause damage. Put some distance between yourself and the ship exp- Oh, there, warp core goes critical. <laughs> Roger that. Wait, does that say? Oh, my UI off doesn't work in... <laughs> this. In this mode, for some reason. Oh, shit! Dog's under attack! Your captain begged for his life before I killed him. No, he didn't. You had the comms open the entire time. You are full of lies, and I should get in front of this ship so we can keep the fire on the same the same arc. Accepting danger is part of being a star. All right, these shields are down. Fire the high yields. I tire of this. It's time to finish. Get Nog ship. Fight. Chimera. We'll escort you back to Earth Space. There he goes. I need to inform the USS Kittimer that... Wait, hold on. My comms officer informs me that we're unable to contact the Kittimer. Not good. I'm going to the coordinates to see if they need help, and I want you to accompany me. Consider this a field promotion, cadet. Okay, we're gonna go find the Kittimer. Hey, we got a new, uh... Uh, so now we've got Zarva as our engineer who gave us the ability 
Emergency power to shields. 300 shield regeneration for each facing. Plus 20 shield power setting for 30 seconds. Repairs disabled shields. 18% shield resistance. Oh, nice. All right. Thanks to work.